Hey everyone, it's Lisa with Dana August Nails and welcome back to the channel. Okay, these are my mom's nails because you guys recognize this set. I took so long to go and redo her nails that she broke some nails. To be fair, I have a newborn and you know, all that stuff. So to repair those broken nails, I did the, you know, the, the form method where you just use your form to create your dual form to create a free edge. And once I've created that free edge, I popped off that form. I'm now doing a backfill, you know, adding product to the cuticle area, but also maybe creating an, an apex if I had not added enough product into the form. I love this method. I really do. Um, obviously, you're going to be curing for a full 60 seconds. And because it's the form, you have to cure the top side as well as the bottom side. But this always works really well for my mom. These nails are still very much on her. I do need to go and redo her nails before they snap again. Um, and I, I think it, during this time I had left my poly gel brush home. So I'm pretty sure this is like a McCart brush that I'm using. Anyway, everything's already repaired. We've refined the shape. We've done all of that. So now I will be covering pretty much all of these nails in gel polish. This, I mean, you've seen the photo. It's a brown plaid. So I'm going to apply Protein Bond just as an extra adhesive so that the gel polish sticks. And then I'm going in with 996 from Beatles. Listen, I remember when I was sleeping on Beatles. No longer am I asleep on Beatles. Do you know what I mean? My friend gave me like a, like a six pack from Amazon, just like friend mail. And I just love it. I love these colors. I always just tell my mom what we're going to do when we get, like when I get, when I show up to our house, which is like dangerous territory. Like what if she doesn't like it? I, br I have brought no backup plans. You know what I mean? So I'm doing a coat of this on the, you know, the index and the thumb. And then I just, I think it's like two coats. I care for full 60 seconds in between because I'm going from hand to hand. So giving everything it's allotted amount of like cure time in the lamp is totally possible. Um... But yeah, she liked it. So it's, it's, I mean, I, I always consider myself lucky, but I also think my mom is like super, super nice. Like she does not want to complain about these things. So she's let me do whatever I want to do. So this is Mocha series, Mocha series number two. Was that number two? I didn't see. I couldn't see. I, you guys know, I don't know. Um, and I like this nude. It's kind of like a, it's, yeah, I would say it's like a pinky nude. I definitely would say it's a pinky nude. Um, I'm applying two coats of this on uh, pinky nude applying two coats of the pinky just I I don't even plan to be this funny do you know what I mean it just happens um if you guys hear any sort of like noise I am in my car in the parking in the park in the parking in the parking lot damn Lisa speak English or a language that people understand not some crap you made up in your head um yeah just before work so I figured eh, let's just get some voiceovers done you know um so I'm done with these full cover nails you know I'm just top coating them right away um so I'm taking a model one's color. This is 1041. This is, you know, like a really pale gray kind of a nude. And um, I'm doing a full coat of this on the middle finger. So it's going to be two coats. Um, and then I'm actually going to have some overlapping colors on this. So I do try to keep this as thin as possible, but I do want it to be as opaque as well. So that's kind of a tricky thing to really do because there was a bit of cloudiness, shadowiness. But as you can see, we, we achieved it. So now I'm taking the same 996, which is that brown. And I'm just, you know, applying, you know, a little bit of the product close to the cuticle, but a little off to the sidewall. So it's it's a triangle um, that I'm creating. Wait, is this? No, it's not. Is it 996? I cannot tell. No, it's not 996. It's that Missy Gel Polish color that we put on the pinky. This is 996. And I'm showing you what I'm doing on another on the middle finger from the other nail because I'm assuming that the other hand is in the lamp this middle finger I wish that I had made it just a bit more sharp toward the free edge because it ended up looking like an oval instead of an almond this was my first set on my mom you know getting back into nails this was my first set ever getting back into nails after having stopped you know for a long time during the whole pregnancy and, and everything so Girl's a bit rusty, a little bit rusty. So I'm taking my Mareka brush. This is the long detailer brush. I love this. No, is it the detail brush? No, it's the liner brush. Liner brush, Lisa, learn your brushes. And I'm doing two lines. Um, this is to create our plaid. I don't even know if you call this plaid. It's kind of like an argyle. Do you know what I mean? The way it kind of sets up. But this is the Model 1 Solid Gel Cream in white. Um, and then I'm taking Solid Gel Cream number, was that number 8? Was it number eight or it was number five? Anyway, 
this is to me the pinkiest of the nudes if you're like because not see now you can see the the well it's not a pinky it is a nude it's like a yeah it's 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 a pinky nude when you see the pinky next to the ring you can really tell which one is more on the pink side um because it's a solid gel cream i really don't need much i did go in with two coats obvi because i really wanted that coverage and I'm using the same gel brush, which is from Macar, to apply this because I forgot my poly gel. So I use this to apply the poly gel as well as this to do the full cover nails. I'm taking my Homost, um, and this was also from a friend mail. It was like a whole poly gel kit. I still have the poly gel kit, but I loved this matte. So I'm using it to mattify this nail as well as the Argyle nail. And it, look at that finish. So nice. So I'm taking that... Um, was that zero two from savvy land also friend mail same person this gold is so rich man so rich and i don't know whether or not these need to be covered in a top coat or not i just drew those damn lines and i said i'm not top coating this again because i really wanted that gold to stand out up against like the matte finish of what we did you know the argyle print so I, I didn't top coat it. It's, I've checked my mom's nails since it just, it held, it still held up really nice. It still has its shine. So maybe you don't have to top coat these, you know, maybe it's just like a, you know, you cleanse the nail and then you cleanse the art and then you're done. You know, some gel paints are that. So I'm going to do this line on here, these two lines. And then I'm also going to do a set of gold lines on the ring finger as well. And because I've top coated those other three nails and because I've matte finished these nails before I added the gold, it's pretty much the end of the video, you guys. Um, what else can I say? It's, it's just, it's good to be back. I hope you guys had checked out my vlog video. You know, there's a lot that I share with you guys on there. So thanks for watching. If you have, go check it out if you haven't. Here is a video and picture of the finished look. My mom's still rocking these now. Um, I love you guys for watching. Consider doing all the things like share, subscribe, all that. Love you guys.